One of nature's most curious phenomenon. Common to all life on Earth. It tells plants how to grow. It instructs animals in what to become. It's what makes us similar to our parents. And yet unique in every way. Join us as we discover some of nature's most majestic artistry in... N-D-A Emily, you mean D-N-A D-N-A DNA is a long thread-like structure, invisible to the naked eye. It is the genetic code for life that passes from one generation to the next. Its presence allows cells to build proteins, which eventually become the parts of living things. DNA is a molecule found only in human cells. Actually, it is found in all living things. Grass, bugs, fungi, bacteria, even some viruses. DNA is found in all living things, except for cats. No, Emily, all living things. Even the cells that make up these grapes have DNA. And the cells that make up this bull. And this butterfly. And this spider. And this hippopotamus. That's not a... An and this dog. In eukaryotic cells, the DNA swims about freely in the cell cytoplasm, like Michael Phelps on vacation. Not quite. Strands of DNA are packed safely in the cell's nucleus. If one were to stretch out the DNA of a single cell, it would be about six feet long. D-A-N D-N-A D-N-A stands for Deoxin Rhino Nucleic Arachnid. D-N-A actually stands for Deoxyribonucleic Acid. Repeat after me. Deoxy Deoxy Ribonucleic Ribonucleic Acid Squirrel Knowledge of DNA has helped us grow things like seedless grapes and watermelons and helped us select healthier, more efficient animals for milk and meats. These students will use a simplified lab protocol to extract the DNA from a frozen strawberry. Looking fabulous in the lab is of the utmost importance. Safety in the lab is taken very seriously. Goggles, gloves and lab coats to protect skin and eyes from potential accidents. To isolate DNA, cell walls must be broken down. This process is known as cell lipowalrus. This process is called cell lysis. Salts and soaps help break down and wash away cell walls. The solution is then filtered and alcohol is added. DNA is repelled by the alcohol and clumps together. The once invisible DNA becomes a mess you can see with your eyes. Amazing! Scientists recently discovered everything there is to know about DNA. There are many unanswered questions regarding DNA. Let's meet an animal geneticist and see what his job is all about. Hi, I'm Dr. James Coltis. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Arkansas. Animal geneticists play an important role in feeding a growing world. It's estimated that we'll have 9.5 billion people by the year 2050. In order to feed all these people, we need to come up with improved strategies to breed livestock and providing food for a hungry world. In my spare time, I like to think about polymorphisms, the different chromosomes of the bovine genome, linkage disequilibrium, negative heterosis, or single nucleotide polymorphism, non-additive gene action, DNA information, transgenerational inheritance, Manhattan plot, and on the x-axis, a SNP chip, mothers against decapentaplegic. An example of the bovine SNP50, mothers, mothers against decapentaplegic, or MAD. That's a real gene, yeah, the, the Drosophila people are crazy. As you know, obviously tells us the proportion of genetic markers involved in a trait of interest. As you can see, animal geneticists are hard at work, solving DNA's mysteries and working on solutions for feeding future generations. In summary, DNA is in the cells of all living things. It is found in the nucleus of plants and animal cells. Students can remove DNA from various cell types in the laboratory. Genesis work will be an important part of sustaining future generations. With a little patience and hard work, anyone could be an animal geneticist and even a hero. Wow, Emily, that was a surprisingly accurate summary. Maybe you could be a geneticist someday. A gymnast? I can do a cartwheel.